Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how can you create a data table and then write to an Excel. To do this, we have to install two libraries. Do you know what are the names? The first one is the pandas library and the second one we have to install open by Excel. We need to install. I'm going to install these two libraries to perform this action of creating a data table and then writing it to an Excel file. So it is quite simple. All you have to do simply open command prompt. And here, let me show you how do you install. So for example, I'm going to install the open by Excel, which is going to help you to deal with Excel related files, okay, Excel files, CSV files. So this is the library that I need. So simply type pip install open Excel and hit on enter. You can see it has taken a few seconds and it has successfully installed open excel similar way you can install pandas or all you have to do pip install pandas but this one i have already installed let me show you you can also check on your computer simply by typing show pandas and you can see it is telling me hey you already have pandas on your system do you see same way we have installed open by excel you can also check like this pip show open by excel it will tell you which version of open by you have getting it if not simply replace this word show with install getting it so this is how you'll be installing this two open libraries let me just for easy purpose let me write the commands here Okay, so these are the two commands you can use to install these two libraries. Okay, this is widely used. So don't not to worry, go ahead and install these two libraries using the pip command for the Python. Once you have installed, simply import pandas as I'm going to give some alias name like pd okay so i'm importing the pandas library now the very first thing let us create a data structure for that i'm going to use a kind of a dictionary variable i'm going to use and here i'm going to define some columns for example id colon so in dictionary you do not put a equals to symbol okay in dictionary you put a colon and then the id will contain multiple values let's say 101 102 103 uh, 104 105 so I'm putting some five numbers let's use very simple data so that it will be easy to understand the concept now here I'm going to write another key called name these are all keys so dictionary is a key and value pair right so key and multiple values you can have single value or more than one value so here I'm having multiple values encapsulated within a list okay now name so here in the name because these are strings i have to put them inside single quote or double quote i am going to go with a single quote here and i am writing a same thing we'll repeat few other things like b comma c comma d comma e okay so i have got id and the names associated with each of this name uh, uh, name with the id fine now remember when you are writing multiple keys you have to put a comma to differentiate you know you put a comma here so i got this let's create one more called age i'm putting a comma and here i'm going to write few age uh, so we'll keep it simple one comma two comma three comma four comma five remember always to take simple data when you are building or you are learning something take very simple data to understand don't make it complicated okay so i have taken a dictionary now, for example, if you want to see how this dictionary would look like, you can simply print uh, the data. Okay, the variables are case sensitive in Python. So I'm writing in properly. So let's print it. So what is happening here? You can see it just printed the dictionary. Do you see dictionary ID is equal to someone value, name, then age. 
okay so it is a dictionary okay fine now here our question is i have to convert this dictionary into a data tabular format you have seen a table in excel in excel format or a tabular format now for this that's where we have gone with pandas right so i am using the alias name pd to use the library name pd and then there is something called data frame very powerful method available with pandas called data frame now what this data frame can do if i am passing this dictionary inside this particular uh, you know uh, parenthesis what would happen it is going to convert or transform this dictionary into a table format okay so let's do one thing let's use some variable uh, in front of uh, pd dot data frame dt is equals to pd dot data frame okay now let's print this data table so if i am going to print it how it's going to appear is important so i'm going to type it here let's say dt and let's run this so look at it how the dictionary was looking and now how the data got transformed in terms of columns and rows so that is the very powerful thing called data frame using which i can transform the dictionary to a data table format got it now here our next thing okay you have transformed but now i want to write to an excel file okay remember this to try on a blank excel file or test file for example if you have any data in your excel for example i have some data is going to let's say you have got multiple sheets it's going to remove all the sheets and create a single sheet so remember not to try on a file where you already have a data always try on a test file so let's see how to do it it's quite simple i'm going to you create a variable called file path equals to and i am going to first of all copy the path of a blank file or i will you know change the name so that it will recreate a file so let me first select this i am hitting on the shift key right click and i am doing copy as path so once you have it i am going to paste the path now you should know when you are using a backslash um, these are called escape characters remember this backward slash works like a escape character like you write print slash n right you remember you write this this is for a new line you write slash t for a tab right so that is why wherever you have a forward uh, backward slash it thinks it's escape character and it will not recognize and it might give you an error if you run it okay so if you see it gives some error unico unicode error okay now to avoid this problems all you have to do simply write r r means it will consider this backward slash character as a regular string r means regular okay it will think it's a regular string by just by writing r that's the keyword you have to write okay once that is done i am going to modify as i said i need to try it on a test file not on an existing file so what i will do change this name because this is an existing excel file just to avoid data loss i am going to create test one okay so remember this is a very important point to try it on a blank excel file or a test file i have created test one okay fine now once this is done i would like to write to this particular file okay so how do you write to this file we have created this dt right dt variable which contains your data frame uh, you know constructed data so what i will do i'll say dt to excel dt to excel and here i'm going to provide the file path so instead of writing the entire thing i'm using a variable that's it done now let's execute this so you can see the execution is got completed it has printed the data table fine now we are interested has it created a test1.xls and has it written the data inside that so let's go to the folder and here let me look for test okay you can see a test file got created here below okay let me bring it to the top okay so you can see test1.xls got created and it has created sheet 
so always remember to try this only on a test file do not try it on a existing excel okay disclaimer before you try this so this is doing our job we have achieved what is needed we have written into an excel file however if you see there is a problem in this excel file i am getting some index number 0 1 2 3 4 along with the data that i wanted to write i also see some index numbers what if i don't want that now for this you have to do simple modification to this specific expression in line number 14. All I have to do simply put a comma and write index is equals to I am saying false. So those are index numbers this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 that you see while you are printing. Once you have transformed the data dictionary to a table structure it also give an indexes number around it. So if you don't want it all you do index equals to false and execute this file is going to overwrite that text dot xls file so let's see it now it is completed if i go back uh, let me refresh it back and forth if I, yeah if you see the index numbers have gone so this is how you can achieve this specific task but always remember to try it on a blank excel file or a test file not to try on an existing data sheet now how to try on an existing data sheet how can i create a sheet where you already have multiple sheets and you have to create your own sheet that is something a new topic to learn so we are going to meet once again in our next video till then take care bye bye